Are you one of those individuals that just got fired from their job or you can't go to work and get paid by the company because they don't have enough money and you're in what they call a furlough? Well, if you're one of those people, then I'm going to show you how you can get some free money from the government. Yeah, and if you believe anything I just said, then you're an idiot and a sheep like everybody here with this coronavirus situation. But I am going to show you how you can get this stimulus check from this money that the feds are printing. So before I get started in this video, the beginning of the video is just a joke. Don't take it so sensitive. I'm not here to make fun of people because they lost their job. It's a very uh, sad situation right now. It's a very serious situation right now going on with this coronavirus, even though I think part of that stuff is is, is uh, a little, I guess you could say, overhyped. There's such a unnecessary panic created for this situation. But I will say, um, you know, I hope everybody's doing well. My name is Ray Woods. My channel is Crab About the Bucket. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Hit the like on this video. And I want to get into showing you how you can get the stimulus check from the feds. The feds then printed about $2 trillion or so. They went in the back, turned on them print press, and they are on fire. Like, them print press is hot from printing all this money, right? They print about $2 trillion and they dispersing this money out to businesses, they're bailing out airlines, they're sending money into certain medical uh, situations, certain hospitals, um, they're sending money out into, um, you know, some of the defense systems, as far as the military, I guess they're gonna practice martial law or put martial law up on us, depending on how long this lasts. I don't know, but they're taking a lot of this money and they dumped it back into the economy. And some of this money is going to be used for different other different businesses like automotive or some of these food places, food industries, the trucking business. And um, part of that is going to be going to the citizens of the United States of America as a stimulus check. And, uh, you know, how it's going to be broken down into numbers is like this. So these numbers are pretty simple. So if you're single and you make $75,000 or less, you're going to get about $1,200 stimulus check. And if you make anything over $99,000, then you're not going to get shit. Uh, and then the numbers for if you're married, they're going to pretty much double that. So if you're making $150,000 together or less, then you're going to get $2,400. And if you're making anything over like $198,000, then you're not going to get nothing. I mean, you already make a lot of money, right? Also, if you got kids, I don't have kids, but for those of you out there who have kids, you are going to get an extra $500 for each kid. So... For all you people that's probably about to have kids or already got some out there, go ahead and throw an extra $500 in your pocket, give your kids a high five, and um, that's extra money for you in your pocket. Now, before you even get the stimulus check, you, you need to go ahead and cut your fat. Just cut the fat off of your bills. It's a situation now where, you know, back in 2008, I was alive. I'm 30 years old now, but I was alive during the crash in 2008, 2007, but I necessarily didn't feel it. I was already broke. So in situation now where you're making a little more money you're, you're, you're gonna feel something and it's gonna be a, a big hit on people especially if they're out of jobs and everything so you know cut the fat off some of your expenses go ahead and slice some of that unnecessary unnecessary stuff you got that you're paying for cut that out for now you can always come back and get it let's just wait a little bit and cut off those expenses now there are a bunch of companies that are pretty much like they're giving a chance to their consumers or their customers by allowing them to push bills back or they're allowing them to uh, defer some of the payments for the bills. Now, what I would want to say is something like AT&T, for example, AT&T is pushing their bills back and they're like, hey, you know, you don't have to pay for this month. We could push it back this month and we could push the bill back. Or we won't charge you, et cetera, et cetera. But here's I'm going to tell you, if your bill is three hundred dollars for the month of March and your bill is going to be three hundred dollars for the month of April, and your bill is not due until May, you best believe that the amount of money on your account is gonna be doubled. They're not waiving it, they're not taking it off, they're not eliminating it. So if you can pay your bills, go ahead and pay your bills. And if you get the stimulus check, use that to pay some of your bills first, especially like rent or mortgage, because you definitely, if you got own a house, you do not wanna be foreclosed in a situation like this. And if you're paying rent, you don't wanna be evicted out from your apartment complex. After you pay your bills, 
this is a time to start putting away money. If you haven't put away money, put away some money for savings. If you're if you're that 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 person to to save some money. And my my thing is this: this situation now has really it should really show you and your family if you're in this situation if you have not have savings accounts saved up how important it is to have some type of cushion and the goal is to have about six months worth of savings in your account so if something was to go bad like it is now and you don't have a job like me for example I'm actually I go back Monday but I've been out for two weeks and um, so that takes the income in the household down a little bit but we still manage so if you got some money saved up this should this should this should be good for you if you don't have money saved up this is the time to start putting away something because the situation can happen like this again the markets are going to eventually crash you know in a recession depression whatever it may be is going to be bad right now it's like i feel like it's just scratching the surface as far as hurting people's income and hurting these different industries and once it really takes a huge hit you know then we'll see some crazy stuff going on but i think that the feds are printing money to kind of keep it stable and keep their keep the feet keep their feet up or keep their whatever you want to call it i don't know keep them on their feet for the period of time that's why they print the money to kind of help everybody so go ahead and start building that savings account go ahead and start uh you know storing that money away now if you have any other debt like credit card debt you got student loans you know whatever you need to start paying on that too um i read something about student loans being if you're paying in on it right now especially since the student loans trump said the student loans are not to be paid till like september or something then that money goes straight to the principal and you're not paying on the interest on it but um you know if you don't have student loans and you got credit card debt or something else then go ahead and start paying on that credit card debt pay on the other debt that you have don't just use that money don't be trying to go buy no freaking uh, shoes, no two, three hundred dollar shoes. Don't be trying to go buy no rims and put it on your car, buying all that stupid crap. Use the money for something important because this is an important financial economic situation that is hurting tons of people. Now, after you didn't cut the fat, after you didn't store some money away for savings, after you didn't paid off some of your debt, if you got any money left, then you need to go ahead and invest that money. Uh, everybody invests in their own different things. Of course, I'm going to say, you know, what I invest in, but you always got to do your own research. I invest in precious metals because the, as far as my income goes, that's what I can invest in until real estate and all the other things come in. So if you're going to invest in something, look at stocks, real estate. Stocks are very low right now. You know, I'll say JetBlue is pretty low for their stock and a couple other airlines, especially since you know they're taking a hit and then um, if you want to get into real estate you know houses may be cheaper uh, in, a, in a little bit or if they're not cheaper the interest rates are gonna be low so get in where you fit in you know I'm not an expert on the real estate or any of that so that's why I say go do your own research uh, precious metals precious metals are low right now silver is about I think it's like $14 an ounce right now it was 12 like a couple days ago um, you know silver may go up gold is going down low so you know whenever you you have some money left over go use that money and invest it because once the market start going back up then you best believe you on the right train you know be a sheep in the stock market be a sheep to ride the train to go up so you can make some money don't be panicking and worry about not buying because things are going down you need to buy when it's low and then sell when it's high I want to tell you how you're gonna get this money right so how you're gonna get this money pretty much is um, the fans and all of them already got your information, so you ain't got to worry about nothing. They're going to send a check in the mail. They're going to, I'm sure, go through your Social Security number, find your bank accounts, all this information, because none of your information is safe. Get over it. And uh, they'll send a check to you or they'll direct deposit to your account. And um, just understand this one thing. This money is not free okay everybody's excited for these stimulus checks this money's not free they're either probably taking the money that they already overtaxed you for and sending it back to you or they're not and they're taking this money and you're gonna pay for these taxes later down the road you're gonna pay for this money that's being printed understand my conspiracy theory is where the taxes came from taxes came from the feds printing the money they took the gold they took the dollar off the gold standard in 71 so they have nothing to back by it you know the, the money's not backed by anything so they just print it and dump it into whatever they want to and then people like me and you got to pay the taxes on that money that was printed to owe the government back to owe the banks back because they trickle the money down and they charge the interest and all that blah 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 you know go do your own look up on that but yeah just know that this money is not going to be free so use it wisely you know 
debt is the number one way that people are getting rich in this society, in this country, United States of America. Real estate, for example, people use OPM, other people's money, and they use that debt to get rich. So use this debt that they're printing so you can use it to your best benefit for you and your family. Put some more money in your pocket, you know, and start to understand that this is a situation that's going to happen and it's going to happen again. This is not the first time it's happened. It's going to continue to happen and you need to be ready for it. So just know you're going to pay them taxes on that money and then be ready for that stimulus check, whether it come in the mail or it come into your bank account direct deposit. In my eyes, I'm like, man, you know, printing this money is not, not good right now. And at the same time, it is good because how will we get out of the situation we're in because of this coronavirus is going on? Everybody's panicked over this stuff and, and it's creating this big economic situation. And it's like a double-edged sword. So you do what you can, you manage, you don't complain, you keep your head up, and you go put in the work what you need to do, and you keep pushing through this economic situation. I'm right there with you. Guys, if this video gave you any good information some great information if you enjoyed this video go ahead and smash that like button make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when i'm coming out with more videos and like share and comment on my video let me know what you think about the video because the more you engage the more youtube is going to put this great information out there so people know what's coming so people know what's going on uh, again this is ray woods channel crab about the bucket where i discuss topics and teach and educate people from my past mistakes through financial education mindset and career and business growth and until i see you in the next video i will see you in the next video